okay? Put the flag in there. Um, thank you for having me. Could you step up a little bit for us? Thank you. Uh, thank you for having me. Um, it's an honor to be here, and uh, I was told by five different people that I was the only candidate to come here. So uh, it uh, makes me even feel better. Uh, the last time I was here was to uh, go to the Clinton Library, and it had to be five or six years ago. And I talked to the Clintons the other day and told them I was coming, and they said, oh, you know, tell everybody hello for them. Uh, but uh, we're uh, still exploring what we're going to do. And uh, we had to register today or you wouldn't, couldn't be on the ballot. So that's why we came down this morning and I'm going to have lunch with some people and uh, go back and tell everybody that uh, it, people couldn't have been nicer, but it's cold in Arkansas. Probably cold in New York too. <laughs> why did you decide to come to Arkansas personally? You know, if you respect people and you show them respect, maybe it goes in both directions. Um, I like people and I think Nobody expected that from me when I first uh, ran for office back in 2001. And uh, I still walk up to everybody on the street, shake everybody's hand, and, you know, I got a good feeling. What makes you think uh, there, there are some other older white moderates in this race? What makes you think that you'll succeed where they've struggled to gain traction? Well, look, all I've got to do is, if I run, explain to people what I think is wrong with this country and how I would fix it and then the public can make a decision. And I can't speak for anybody else, and I don't want to compare myself to anybody else. Um, I was mayor for 12 years. I've watched since then uh, this country get more and more in trouble. I gave a speech at the DNC convention in 2016 saying that I thought uh, Donald Trump was not suitable to be president of the United States. I guess not enough people listened to me, but uh, I've uh, been uh, more and more upset uh, with what's going on here. We don't talk to each other. We don't work together. Uh, there's a lack of honesty and of, of civility that is not good for our country. And I've got two daughters and two grandkids that I care about. And I'd like to do something about it, whether it's running for president or something else. Uh, we'll see. So did you say you're still in the exploratory phase of your campaign? Uh, we've said we'll, uh, we're looking at it, yes. But we had to register in Alabama and here because of the time frames. So it doesn't mean we're going to run, but we do that to make sure that we're on the ballot if we do run. What's, what's your time frame for making a decision on whether to run? Well, I, was, I swore to not answer that question. <laughs> break, break that problem. Why not? <laughs> No, I just, uh, we're, uh, we're getting closer. What, okay. what do you make of the criticism that, uh, you know, given your wealth, you're, try you're trying to buy, you know, you're trying to buy an election? Well, I'm going to finance the campaign if there is one with my own money, so I don't owe anybody anything. Other people ask for donations in return for which they've got to give favors. Uh, but it costs a lot of money, whether you're doing it with your own money or somebody else's money, to get a message out. Uh, I remember in uh, New York City, uh, it was very hard to get a message out, and that's just one city. Now you're talking about a whole country. Uh, but uh, I've made all my money myself, and uh, the bottom line is I'm giving most of it away. So uh, I'm very proud of what my foundation has done and uh, being able to, uh, to help other people. So, is, is this a reflection of how weak, how weak Biden is and the rest of the field? I don't, look, Joe Biden's a very nice guy. Uh, I've known him for a long time, and uh, if you want to know about Joe Biden, you got to talk to Joe Biden. He's running his campaign, I'm running mine, and one thing doesn't necessarily have anything to do Save with another. one more, and, and I'm not ex guys. an expert what, on what he does. Whether you run or not, or whether you're the nominee or not, will you support the eventual Democratic nominee? Uh, that is a very easy thing to say yes, given who the Republican candidate is going to be. I couldn't be more clear. I do not think that Donald Trump should get elected. So, Do I want to play? Uh, sure. Yeah. 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 Yeah.